right, while we're back, we're, uh, my plan is to try to finish up this chop. Well, that's the goal. Goal of the video. We're gonna get that window frame cut down. Uh, I wanna do the, finish up all the window frames, like the inner, the outer, and we'll see how much time we got left. If there's still, then we'll start tackling some of the rust at the bottom of the doors and stuff. So first plan of attack, because I'd like to take the cab off. It's much easier to uh, fix all this stuff than if I lift it on the hoist, it hits stuff. I got stuff in the way. So I'm resorting to my old uh, <laughs> garbage pick way back. Needs a little love though. It was an old hospital bed. I added some rails on it and it works great for just like stuff like that where you just got a cab or something. You can lift it up. It's at a nice comfortable height to work on. It's uh, gone through some abuse sitting outside, I guess. I'm missing two wheels. Uh, somewhere she got a whammy, so we'll have to fix that. And uh, I don't know, I'll have to see if it still works. I kind of, I don't know why it wouldn't work. It's all mechanical, but what do I know? I do have to address my, the way, <laughs> the way it works. I guess this rod, I just got to lengthen the rod to somewhere that I can't hurt myself. Accidentally get your arms stuck in the bits. But, oh yeah, she still goes. I built this years ago. Well, I didn't build anything. It just is what it is. It was a hospital bed. But I added these beams and I would have a board on it and I would work on snowmobiles or dirt bikes and stuff like that. It was like my cheap lift that was free out of the garbage dump. Anyways, I'm gonna hunt down some wheels. If I don't have, I'll just pull the wheels off because I can just probably slide it around the floor. Not a big deal for what I need out of it right now. But uh, if I can find wheels, that'd be cool. And I think we have to maybe just sledgehammer that thing a little straight. I don't know if it affects anything, but we should at least fix her up a little bit. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna work on that other doodad so I don't hurt myself. We'll run a big rod out the front so I can push pull out the front of it. All right, let's get that going. To which then we can, I'll basically lift that body off again, and then we can set it down. Then we'll try to address the last bit of the rust on it. And I don't know, kind of finish up the cab, I guess. Yeah. Still gonna put the dash in it too. I have to do that. Anyways, enough gabbing. Let's get started. Well, as you can see, we got the uh, cab on this bed frame slash dolly. <laughs> so now the plan is I can go around, I can finish, I can actually nicely and easily, easily go in here, lower it down, kind of get all this stuff worked on. That's kind of the, uh, the plan here. Fix up this stuff, get all this done. I think I have a little bit Inside, uh, you can't tell, but from this this part here, I got to do the inside yet. Finish that up, and uh, I think it'll probably go back on the hoist after just to address the rust down there and over here. So I think I can put 
my big stands underneath uh, the arms and uh, just lift the cab from the inside. Or I'll just lift the whole bed frame, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. First things first, we gotta fix all of this weirdness here. All of these bits that are excessively large and don't line up with anything. <laughs> I mean, as far as the outside go, it's it's nice, it's straight, all that stuff is good. So, we just got to address all the other goofy stuff going on now. Anyhow, we got our, our playing field built. Let's get going. One thing at a time. So, uh, I've done a whole lot of slicing. This looks better. It's still not right, it's gotta come out a wee bit. Like you can tell here once I tack it and I pull that out. We'll get that lined up, but you can see the gap isn't good up here. So we'll probably just build on top and shave it down just so it looks the part. We'll add a sliver into there. The whole inside is, like I say, it gets a lot worse before it's going to be better. <laughs> but I opted to just slice this one, pull it out. It's the, going to be the closest. Like I say, up here, we're going to have to just add a little bit of material. So we'll just add some weld on it and then we can just grind it away. And then we have, like once we're done that, we'll have to add a sliver down here. And then we continue on the door. This is my boo-boo. So I'm just going to weld that up. No big deal. Then we come over here, things are not too bad. We'll probably grind the top, touch it up so it's, uh, it stays square. We're gonna build all the new garbage through the middle, one piece at a time. And then uh, I'll bring you back when we get over here. It's a lot of the same in the front, but essentially all I'm gonna do is just do a slice between the two, kind of squeeze the two panels between. They'll blend nicely between, Feller will never notice. You know, and then over here, once it's done, you'll see, it'll be good. I don't think anybody would notice. If they do, eh, I don't care. It's my car. Uh, we got a little bit of a schlunk right here. We'll have to weld that up. That one's, uh, I guess somebody pulls excessively hard on the door there. I think we have a window mech in here. I just don't know if it actually cranks up and down. I'll have to figure that out. Anywho. Let's, uh, oh yeah, in here. I had to do a slice here because where the channel, where the glass goes, we got good and then it, it stuck over. So I just proceeded to do a big slice so I could pinch this, pinch this in. So then we'll weld. So since we got a whole lot of welding and a lot of grinding to do, but we'll start with this part. We'll get it welded up. I'll weld this one up quick. And then well, we'll see how this thing puzzles together. If I'll bring you back yet or not. We'll see. 
<laughs> like I, if I screw it up and forget, there's the whole other side I got to do yet anyways. So there's a little more weirdness going on. I think I goofed somewhere there. So I'll have to cut it and try to tweak it on the driver's side, but no problem. Anywho, start welding. Alrighty. Well, this was easy. This one ground up really nice. This one you can see I was using some pieces, the bigger stuff. Rest of it I was just filling with a filler rod, which is just like uh, I'm just kind of using a TIG rod on there. So. so it all ground up, cleaned up. I know it looked a little bulky while I was doing it, but I was just throwing tons of weld at it. So kind of is what it is there. Uh, Got to fill into this. I got to do this, but I still got to weld the whole front side. So you can see we got to do something similar all onto this side, but yeah. Yeah, it looked like I was pounding tons of heat, and I probably was, but I'm really, it's not like this is like the roof or something where in the middle you can do some weird stuff. It's really hard to, to honestly, to warp something like this. <laughs> you got a little curve. Man, would you have to put heat in to mess that up? I don't even know how you would, honestly. Maybe on the front side or, you know, you got to watch around on the door and stuff. But for here, it's not too bad. The door, like I say, in the middle of a door or something like that, yes, you could totally screw that up. Perfect example is, look how the bottom of this door, somebody had done it. I don't know if I'm going to fully fix that or if I can smash it out and just do my own thing. But you can see somebody just welded like solid weld and then you can see the side of the door how crazy it is if i can smooth it out 
I'm gonna leave it. If I have to, I'll rebuild the bottom of the door. We'll see how much time I want to invest in that. But anyways, task at hand. We got up here to do. Still got a little bit of touching up to do in here. Oops. And then we gotta touch this whole thing here. I don't know, should be too bad. I'm expecting, well, I'm gonna go in for supper. I think I'll be back. I'm hoping to get both doors done tonight. That'd be my goal. This part here, because when she closes up, we're, uh, we got a big gap. So essentially I'm just gonna weld some of this rod, you know, one, two passes of the rod up on there, grind it down just to give it a nice, a nice look. And then we should be good. Over here, I still have a bit of a, uh, you can see how it's not smooth. So I might slit this upper panel or the bottom one. I think I'll do the bottom and I'll just suck this lip in just a little bit. So to do that, once I find my door handle here. For that, my plan is just to, uh, hmm. That's the easiest way to show you this. All right in here. So to fix this little gap, my plan is just to do a zip cut down here and that way I can push this edge over and in. Oh. There's a lot of cut and welding. Once it's welded, ground, and then uh, schmoozed there, nobody ever knows. <laughs> all the work that went in underneath there. I guess if you leave it all exposed, then yeah, you kind of want to spend way more effort to make everything pretty pretty, but I don't care. It's going to get a little bit of bondo. That'll fix everything. No big deal. Hmm. Squirrel! If I look at that door from this angle, you can see the inside. You see how it's uh, overlapped over? Kind of gives me a hint that all I got to do on this door, leave the bottom, just do one or two relief cuts up so I can pull everything out and then that should uh, fix my window channel and it should all be good after that. Cool. Anyways, I'm going to go in for supper and then when we get back, we'll uh, finish this up.
Well, golly, this cab is going to need some body work. <laughs> it's going to get some paint, but it's sure not going to be a fancy paint job, I'll tell you that. There's uh, a lot of things that just are really rough on here. Some of it is, I guess, I failed at the cutting butt because it's, I may as well have lap welded it in some spots, but that's the corner, so I guess that's to be expected. I, if you could have done a relief slit, I was kind of stressing things into place, so it's not the best way to do that, but eh, whatever. But you can see, actually, it's not bad. <laughs> well, there are bad spots, let's not deny that. There, you can see some air. This side's like, this is what I was talking about. Feller should have. Uh... Oh, so that one's okay. Yeah, it's not all bad. <laughs> all right, what are we doing? We are explaining everything I did. You're watching me buzz it. Uh, I don't remember what I explained last. So this bit was easiest to remake. So I just remade it. It's got a few little waves and imperfections. I would say normally you wouldn't see it because it's like the truck would be at like this height. But because the darn thing's so low, it's uh, not going to work out in my favor. So we'll have to body work that. Here you can see kind of where I built up the door edge just so it has a decent gap. We did a little bit of that too on top of here. Uh, this part just did the old... Uh, I was able to pry it and just do whatever I needed to do and it worked out really well. Oh, looks like I gotta put a couple more welds in there. We got a lot of that. We gotta touch up a lot of spots, but we're just doing the roughing right now. So anyways, the doors, well, she's not too cooperative. But there we go. I'm not that concerned about my gaps. I just wanted to be like half decent. They definitely don't have to be perfect. This one needs a, a little bit of massaging, a little bit of sludge hammer action there. Knock that out a bit. Oz has got a door gap. I'm happy. The fit and finish was not what it was, and I'm not going to be. This is no show car by any means. It's just going to be a nice little driver. So we got that done. We dressed these welds. We still got to do some more welding inside. There's just like lots of little stuff a feller always forgets about. Like in here, we have the uh, some spots there, and yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm babbling. I don't know if I feel like I could get the other side done. I really thought I'd be a little further ahead, but I got distracted and just farted around in the house, doing nothing. So, anyways, tomorrow's plan is going to be finishing doing all the same stuff on this side. So, I'll probably just smash through it. We'll kind of touch base once I'm all done and uh, see where my time's at. I think I have plenty of time yet. I think we're still good. We got a whole bunch of rust repair to do down here yet and stuff. See, this side didn't get touched, so this one's okay. I'm hoping, like I said, if I could massage out the other side, but hey, you. I think that's it for tonight. And till tomorrow.
Well, taking a little break. We kind of got all the other bits all done around here. I don't know how much of it I filmed. I think I got some of it. This one, I'll get a little more detail how I kind of did it. Because the other side, I didn't realize I had a crappy angle. You couldn't see very well. Hopefully, you can see better when I get to this. But anyways, I'm taking a little break from this. I uh, basically have my window frame. I want to take it apart so I can figure out you know, how much to chop out of it and stuff. That said, this one's kind of rotten. Not crazy, but it does have some rot and some weirdness to it. Mostly rot. <laughs> I think around here, it's still usable, but it needs a bunch of fixing. But I ended up having a, a window frame. I don't even know. I must have bought a car and it was inside of it or something like that. Anywho, it's uh, now I know what it's from. I, for the longest time, didn't know what it was. Now I know it's a 38 Ford windshield. Uh, I was just experimenting because all the screws broke on the other one. This one, so far, like it looks like these came out. And then these ones I'm checking, looks like both of these are broken. So two have to get drilled and tapped. I'm going to try. Well, I actually did try. I heated it up. The screws actually came out. So I'm going to continue to see if I can get all of these apart. So essentially there's like one in here. I don't know if there's anything in the front. It might just be that one. And then we got four on either side because the, the frame will split. And then that's how you kind of get the glass in and out of these. So other than we'll need to figure out something for a rubber and stuff when that comes time. I'm going to pound some heat on these and see if I get all the screws apart so I can separate this. And then we'll be able to figure out how much we got to chop out of that to uh, fit her in the car. That is the plan. But anyways, for now, we're going to torch everything and make it work. A whole lot of heating and farting around. I did get, I was like uh, welding nuts, washers, doing all the, all the jazz. Uh, I got all of them except for two up here I didn't get out and I'm tired of just burning up all my nuts and bolts there or nuts and washers for it. So I'm gonna break down and just drill and tap it. And, but all the other ones, they all came out fine. 
there was two on the upper rail that were broken off already so I guess I'll have to drill and tap those and eh, not the end of the world but now we can at least uh, I'll drill tap those we'll test fit the upper upper mount here I think this is the upper yeah we'll test fit the upper and uh, then we can see how much we got to cut out of them All right, well, window frame is in. We, uh, well, I <laughs> kinda, we, I don't know if how much of it I showed, but I kinda have all the uh, doodads in place here. I kinda have to get this part finished up. I kinda goofed up here, so I'm gonna add a little bit of material. I'll drill, tap that so I can screw that in place. But overall, I like Ben, did the frame right. We got the, the window frame in, so that's there. It rolls in and out, it's cool. We just gotta get a new rubber around everywhere. Hopefully that just works. It's the uh, hinges inside still need some finessing. We gotta kinda pile drive everything over a little, a little bit to the one side, but yeah, cool. We got that in place. I think it looks pretty good. We don't know, you don't have the overall picture because it's not on the whole car yet, but eh, you kind of get the, you get the feel of it.
Alrighty, well, we got, we'll get rid of that. We got the, and everything looks really rough, but <laughs> she's done. At least the chop is officially done. Everything needs a little splooge to make look nice, but we got there, we got our gaps a little better. It don't have to be 100% for what we're going for here. So doors are done. This one is what you were watching me do for the most part. And I kind of started building the inner structure and then just built the bit. I don't know. It was a lot easier than it was trying to reuse uh, other parts of the door like I would normally do. But it didn't work out so well in this one. And then up here we're not bad. And then here you can kind of see where we added all that material. It's a little thicker up on top. But, but done. But as per usual, I uh, think this took a little longer than I thought. I was hoping to get some more stuff all done, but yeah. Ah, not the end of the world. Makes for more videos for you folks. <laughs> but we do got this frame in. This is actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with everything. It's the middle part, but I think this actually needs to come up. It needs a little bit of a tweak. I think I'm pretty much did nail it, but I don't know if I'm going to add yet or not. It's just, it, uh, I think it needs just a little bit of tweaking, but we got our window frame in. We got all, we got a lot of stuff done. Doesn't look like it, but it's kind of how it works when you're messing around with this stuff. Anyways, I guess I'm going to leave it here due to uh, me taking longer than I thought it was going to take. Uh, next round we'll get the, uh, we'll start working on the bottoms and stuff like that. I want to get all this done so we can kind of set it on the frame and it'll be done. We will have to revisit the frame here. Actually get everything welded in like we were supposed to. Uh, like all those, I don't know, there's a whole lot of welding we got to do on here before we can call this done. I wouldn't mind doing it, get some paint on it, even though I might have to wreck the paint just because I don't know what I'm running for a fuel tank. So I have to figure that part out. And I do want to redo the front horns on this thing yet. I don't like the way they go. Either I'll mimic uh, 32 rails or Model A rails. I don't know. I just, it needs something more in the front. The way, the way it ends is just not very, very nice. They're too straight. They need some kind of a taper to it. So whether I go with a 32, 34 style where... There's at least has some down slope to it. They don't go straight. That's the plan. That's that's future me talking right now. So <laughs> anyways, as always, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one later.